Diving on the German U-boat 166. It was sunk during World War II. And currently what we're doing with the ROVs is we're mapping the site. So this site has not been mapped by the Nautilus before. And basically on Hercules, there are a couple sensors. So we have a black and white and a color. And it's all going to be used to produce via sound um, high resolution maps or stereo images. Okay, uh, a couple benefits to these maps. They are super high resolution, so they can be gridded to about a centimeter, which means that they can be used for measurements. The, the multi-beam maps can be actually be used for physical measurements between um, simple things like, you know, what's the spacing of those, those lattice things um, that we go over, or what's the spacing between the bow and, you know, the tip of the bow and the wreckage. Um, mangled at, at the back section there. Um, I like how the little survey turned into chasing wreckage in a quite large survey, which is good. The other way to think about this is this is not a very big site, so actually using Argus, you can actually kind of see the whole thing in one shot. Mm -hmm. But um, normally, you, you don't have that luxury. Normally, it's a flashlight in a hay field. So by doing these, um, you actually get the ability to see, oh, that's what the entire thing looked like. And I think that'll become more and more apparent if and when we survey some of these significantly larger wrecks. Um, I'm limited by the multi-beam right now, so I'm doing about 40% overlap. But that's okay. We'll take overlap because especially in multi-beam sonar, um, when you're passing over wrecks with this much relief, the more overlap you have, the less occlusions you have. The fewer occlusions you have, the more actual information. Occlusions are shadows.